Do you know where your tap water comes from? Well, many people don't, and that's why two ladies in Yarrow have taken it upon themselves to teach the younger generation just where their tap water comes from. Water is a precious resource, and for the citizens of Yarrow, BC, it's more important that the children of today are educated about how and where their water comes from. I went to a waterworks meeting, and our chairperson, John, was complaining about some vandalism that was happening to our watershed. And I'm very proud of our water because it is very clean. And I thought, hmm, the adults know better, but maybe we should teach the children because we have had so many new people that have come into the community and they didn't realize how precious our water is. Virtually unchanged since 1944, the Yarrow Waterworks provides the community with their drinking water, which inspired two teachers in the area to write an educational, factual storybook about the waterworks and how important it is to keep it safe. We went to the Yarrow Waterworks board and the gentlemen there were able to help us answer all of our questions. They took us for a ride up the mountain, showed us where the water source is and how we get our water and how well they look after our water. Co-author Audra Hepner is a teacher in the Chilliwack School District and was definitely intrigued by the story and was on board with this project when she first heard the concept. Faye arranged all the meetings with the water board guys and her friendly nature of course gets her invited everywhere. So um, we talked to the water board guys and uh, I visited Mary Froze and got straight hand knowledge from her and her journals and things that had been written over the years closer to the time when her dad Henry had made the water reservoir. The two authors interviewed ancestors of the pioneers who built and designed the waterworks as well as current staff members to ensure accuracy when telling the story. The town pioneers had found this location. It was a great elevation to create pressure down in the flatlands of the town to provide enough pressure for the house and ample water supply for the entire town. The book is filled with local landmarks and children who tell their friends the importance of the gift that nature has provided them with. It's very important in human life. We can't exist without it. And the children um, need to know this. We need to pass the knowledge along. There needs to be a knowledge transfer, not just amongst the children, even amongst adults, but if we focus on the children today, they are the adults of tomorrow. In Yarrow, BC, I'm Brendan Osborne for Go Fraser Valley.